what kind of office works on a Chrome device? I hate Microsoft, they're a monster that destroyed three computers. Okay, well, if you work on a Chrome device, you have multiple options to access Microsoft Office. You can either use the online programs, and so if you're using the web versions, which are not amazing, can use those online. You can also use number two option is the Android versions of Microsoft Office. And so there are no longer Chrome apps. They're being transferred and transported into uh, progressive web apps now, but you can still download Android apps on any one of your Chrome devices, whether it's a Chromebook or a Chromebox. And so you can use the Android version of Word or the Android version of Excel or the Android version of PowerPoint if you wanna access that way. The third way to access a Microsoft app on a Chrome device is to use a emulation or remote desktop tool. And so you might use Microsoft Remote Desktop, you might use Citrix, there's a number of other desktop virtualization products which allow you to deliver apps down to Chrome devices and they basically just stream them over the internet and they work phenomenally. Many large corporates will use something called a thin client and a thin client is like a very, very basic computer that just effectively boots, connects to the internet and then talks to a central server hub and all the apps just get delivered over the internet and effectively, using a desktop virtualization product will turn your Chrome device into a thin client. But you still get all the advantages of the rest of the Chrome operating system like the Chrome browser and the policies and all the other things that come with it. So that's three ways that you can access Microsoft on your device. Well, I'll maybe even give you a fourth one. Microsoft Documents now are able to be edited inside Google Drive. And so right from inside Google Drive in their native format without having to convert them over to a Google Doc, you can edit your Word files, your Excel files, and even your PowerPoint files as well. Now, you're not gonna get every single button and bell and whistle and feature Feature that you see in the Microsoft equivalent of the app, but you are able to still make changes and get the basics done inside your Microsoft documents. And best of all, it is free for Google Workspace subscribers. Pretty cool, huh? Now a bit of a silver bullet from Google there, avoiding an additional licensing cost for your Microsoft documents. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.